As we reported just a few minutes ago, an FDA advisory committee just voted to recommend emergency use authorization for a second coronavirus vaccine here in the U.S., the one made by Moderna. Still, many people have questions about the vaccines. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez continues to answer some of your questions. With the second vaccine authorization expected by this weekend, some people with special health issues wonder if the vaccine is safe for them. For example, a viewer asks, should people with autoimmune disorders such as lupus take this vaccine? This is a hard one because this issue has not been fully studied in people with autoimmune diseases, which in addition to lupus includes type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's, colitis, and many others. While in general, previous vaccines did not appear to trigger or worsen autoimmune diseases, that has not been studied with these new genetic type vaccines. Pfizer did have a small number of volunteers with autoimmune diseases in its clinical trial with no apparent worsening of their disease. We'll know more in the coming months as all of the manufacturers will be required to do careful post-authorization monitoring of vaccine recipients. It's important to have a careful conversation with your doctor, though, about this vaccine if you have an autoimmune disease. Another viewer asks, will I have to get the COVID vaccine every year like the flu vaccine? The answer is probably not, although these vaccines are too new to be 100% certain of that. Data from the clinical trials suggests that both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines induce T-cell immunity, which should be much longer lasting than antibody immunity. And even though some different strains of the coronavirus have appeared, it looks like the part of the virus that these vaccines are directed against are stable. Unlike the flu virus, it changes so much and so often that you need a new shot every year. Scientists think these coronavirus vaccines should offer lasting protection, maybe not lifelong, but hopefully enough to pull us out of the pandemic. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. You can see more of Dr. Max's answers to frequently asked vaccine questions or submit a question for him to answer. It's all on our website, cbsnewyork.com.